Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Mark. And this, this is the Dark Ballcast. Ball this week, proudly sponsored by Eggs with Legs. Thick bleach. Thick bleach. <laughs> and not thick, like, in a sexy way with, like, like, like bleach with an ass. Yeah, but... Thick bleach. It's, it's thicker, <laughs> but what's the benefit to it being yeah, thicker? That's the thing. You get this with a lot of stuff now, and it's like, oh, bleach is fucking thick. Our bleach is solid. You have to cut it with a knife. <laughs> This, you know what I mean, it's why is that better though? It's like a burning sausage, isn't it? Like you touch it and your hand melts, but it's like a sausage made of bleach. Fuck what? You know, <laughs> <laughs> you want a bow? Well, you just said it's like it's a solid. That's what. A yeah, thick... there's loads of sausage. There's loads of solid stuff. Where did your mind go to burning sausage? Well, because you was like you slice. Oh, well, you don't you don't slice. So you do if it's a salami. Salami, right? But what's the benefit to it being? thick why would you why wouldn't you always choose the thick bleach i think it's maybe because it sticks to the toilet bowl better oh okay to survive the piss yeah but there's more there's more liquids right that are just plain thicker plain thicker milk you've got skimmed you've got semi-skimmed you've got whole why is it not thin thicker thickest Milk. This is premium content, yeah. this, isn't it? <laughs> no, Mama, hear me out. Let's rebrand milk. <laughs> There's cream. That's thickest. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah but... That's super... There's or gradients is, of or, cream. Or is it runny butter? No, you've got... Single... Double... Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy <laughs> Lee, something like that. So you've got... Single, right? Okay, here's what casual we're gonna do. dating and marriage. Here's what we're gonna do: starting from semi skimmed. No, starting from skimmed. skimmed. We're going up in thickness. Okay, right. slowly. So right. semi skin loose. S- skimmed, semi skimmed, whole, whole, single, single cream. cream, whipping cream, whipping cream. I'd Dub- say whipping creams. Oh no, double cream, then whipping cream. No, whipping creams thinner. Because it's okay. th- it, whipping, whipping cream, cream sing- no, then single cream. Whipping cream's thinner than okay. single cream. Whipping cream, single cream, double cream, yogurt. Yogurt, yeah. Where, when do we get to granola? <laughs> <laughs> or clotted cream. Clotted cream. Cottage cheese. cheese. That's the thinnest cheese that it there is. It is the thinnest cheese. Dairy I've never tried cottage, If you try cottage cheese. It's fucking rancid. Is it? I've never tried it. But right. I don't understand any situation in the world where someone would want to put that in their mouth. I, I used to be really into like fitness and stuff. And I saw there was like, I was like, oh, cottage cheese is good for you. Right. Not really eat cottage cheese. So I went and I bought a tub that was like cottage cheese and pineapple. Had it, on my, had it on my lunch break once. Well, just, uh, just with a spoon. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this has got to be good. It sounds healthy, doesn't it? Cottage cheese and pineapple. Yeah, got sent home. Got sent home from work. Ill. Really? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. In- instant shits. Amazing. Instant shits. I've not recovered since. So I had a thought, I, I had a question pop into my head the other day. You know when it's like really cold and you go to the, the toilet for a wee wee? Yeah. And the piss is really warm in the cold environment. Oh, and, and it, it steams, steams, doesn't it? That's one of life's little little pleasures for me. Why doesn't the steam smell of piss? Piss steam. All right, I think you're onto something here. Mm. I have a theory, though. Oh, I like it's a the theory. water that steams. The actual urea <laughs> that's in piss. It's urine. It's, it's yeah, but it's urine because it's like diluted, isn't it? But it's called. I don't your, know. I'm not a pissologist. We're doing a little. We're doing a little science lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but that continues into the bowl. Oh wait, I wonder. Continues if, into the bowl. The bowl, yeah. As you piss in. What do you mean continues into the well, bowl? Well, I don't think that evaporates and turns into steam. No, wait. It doesn't turn into steam, though, does it? It doesn't turn all of it turn into steam, but some of it becomes no, but steam. It's not like it's boiling. It's more like the cold air. Is actually steaming, isn't it? I don't know. 
Why did you start this, Mark? I, I, was, I, just, I was happy talking cheese. I just thought... Right, Mark. Piss steam. Which cheeses grow their own skin <laughs> and which ones are the skin put on afterwards? Uh, okay, you got brie. Is it born with the skin brie. or do they add the skin? Born. <laughs> born with the skin. <laughs> Come on, come on get, you, okay. get born with the skin. Okay, keeping with a the sausage theme. Do you know how when they make... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we were, do you we're know so I, far past sausage. Do you know when they make, like, sausages? They put, like, the meat into, like, a sausage skin. A casing, yeah. Right, so... Made of with, guts. With brie, do they have, like, a triangular casing that the cow just milks into? <laughs> 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 uh, baby like a, bells like a catheter baby bells at what point do they pop the skin on the wax the at wax what point? yeah um, I don't I, I actually <laughs> I don't know how to respond to any of this I, I actually eat the wax it's like nature's chewing gum <laughs> and then when you're done you, sp- you spit it out stick a bit of rope in it you've got a candle I like to I like to play with it just sit there and fiddle <laughs> When was the last time you had a baby bell, Mark? I've never had a baby bell. Oh, my God. I don't, it's too synthetic. It's horrible. I, t- I can't, no. I just, yeah. I've, tr- I've tried, once tried a cheese string, and I've never looked back. I can't, can't, no. Yeah, rubber. do you not like rubber, cheese strings? No. Yeah, you, you don't see them putting cheese strings on pizza, do you? Uh, <laughs> That's how you grate a good cheese. Yeah. <laughs> are, they, are they reaching for baby, grated baby bell or grated cheese string? Whole baby bell. <laughs> Mate. So a couple of baby bells. I'm going to have to give that a try. Per slice. I don't think they'd melt properly, though. How's this? Grab you. All right. In the poem, <laughs> Humpty Dumpty is never mentioned to be an egg. Oh, my word. Has Humpty a- Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Where does it mention that he's an egg? All right. So if he's not an egg... It's just a person who's blown, blown to bits when he's hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the wall was that tall yep. that he hit the ground and fell apart. He just e- fell egg-like. apart. He smashed. He smashed. <laughs> it he just... never mentions he's an egg. Oh, my God. Why have we assumed he's an egg? We did, didn't we? Maybe he identifies as an egg. Because it'd be really upsetting, wouldn't it? If you, if like in the nursery rhyme at the end, and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again, and he, he was, was also an a man. Egg. No, like <laughs> and he, he was. <laughs> I'm saying, would it be you're in nursery and it went, and he was a human male. <laughs> Why's it got to be male? Because it says in the. Oh my god, does it not say in the fucking rhyme? Let's have a look right there because I've closed. I can't remember it. Humpty oh, Dumpty's no. You know, does he even I've say? Mark. Don't even say he's male. I've assigned Humpty a fucking gender. <laughs> you have. Oh my god. We've all assigned him a species, and now you've assigned I've him a gender. One step further. I've sinned. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Oh no, the vegans will be after us. Oh my god. But after, no, after this cheese go off, I don't think. I think the vegans have checked out. Here's a thing for you. Right. Someone at work asked me this yesterday. Because I was talking about a dream I'd had. A really boring dream. We're going to the no. dream. But someone went to me, because anyone who knows me, the, the, the listener to this podcast may not be aware, but anyone who knows me is, knows that one of my eyes is permanently closed. Mate. I have one. I have two eyeballs. One second. Have, have we reached 44 episodes? Without me mentioning it. In which we've made <laughs> jokes about your eye and we've never once explained. We've never explained it. Oh, we just in- make eye jokes all the time. Oh. So one of my eyes, Carry my on. right eye, is permanently closed. Right. So obviously I, I can only really see out of one eye. Yeah. So I was talking about this dream I had, and someone went, in your dreams, can you only see out of one eye? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it was like, when you're in your dream, can you only see out of one eye? Or can, have you, can do you dream like you've got two eyes? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about it. Until now. Yeah, exactly. Now, now your dreams are going to be and forever sweet. I haven't had a dream since and I'm waiting <laughs> because whoever, I need to know. I hope, I hope whoever asked you that question knows that he stole your dreams. <laughs> He's forever taken the dreams away. But the thing is like, 
then it, then it, like, we, we started talking about it and it goes a bit further. So <laughs> deaf people's dreams, are they like a silent film? Maybe. You know yeah, what I mean? It, How right, do blind people dream? If you've never heard just anything, if you've never heard anything, you wouldn't really know what a noise is. You might be having noises all the time in your dreams, but you wouldn't know. Are deaf people's dreams all sign language? <laughs> maybe. Or maybe maybe deaf can people's deaf people dreams are subtitled. Can deaf can deaf psychopaths psychopaths hear voices? No, they just hear like <laughs> sign language. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but they see voices. This this conversation is really messing with my head. It is fucked, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucked. Oh my god. So I need moving to, on. Next time I dream, I need to write down how many eyes I have. <laughs> Thing is, if I've ever been dreaming and I've seen myself in a dream, I've still had my wangy eye. Yeah, but it's really upsetting, right? Because <clears throat> real talk. If if, real if talk. you if you in a dream can have two eyes. What's stopping me from having more than two in a dream? <laughs> Why can't I have three? Mate, please. Please dream tonight and have like I'm nine try. eyes. <laughs> and then I looked in the mirror in and I was made entirely of eyes. There was um, there was a Power Rangers villain years ago that was just made of eyes. Oh. His head was a giant eyeball. Right. And he shot like eyes out of his chest. What was his and name? Was just, I can't remember. What I do remember is that when I was recovering in hospital after having the tumour cut out of my head, How old which was is what, you? five years old. Right. And you um, remember that far? Yes. It was, it was a very traumatic time. Oh, all right, fair enough. So I was recovering in hospital. I'd had a tumour taken out of my head for, uh, that's, you know, one of the reasons that made my eye to be like this. Mm-hmm. My nana came to visit me and she bought me an action figure of that uh, monster from <laughs> Power Rangers. At the time, I loved it. Looking back on it now, I think you cheeky bastard. Yeah, but at least you can rest easy that you're... You're one degree further away from being that monster. You know what I mean? We're all a you're little bit all, closer. Yeah, you're all closer to that monster yeah, than me. Exactly. I'm I'm more Power Ranger than you're all of you. You're another degree removed. <laughs> yeah, because like you gotta think, Power Rangers, I mean, as far as we know, they ain't got no eyes. We can't see them. And I bet when they dream <laughs> they, <laughs> they can have as many as they want. So I was was listening to Daniel's got this thing Flaniel 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 sorry he's got this thing oh, um, for anyone who's decided to join us on the 44th episode <laughs> um, Flaniel is Mark's son but it's not his real name though no it's an alias that name to protect his identity yeah so he's got this thing called a Yoto player to help him sleep at night right and you put it's like a little speaker and you put a card in it and the card's got a story on it or the whatever. card's called Yotos they're called Yoto cards what does Yoto what does Yoto mean it's just the name of the right. So every night he goes to sleep and listens to a Yoto. No, he listens to the. It's called a Yoto player because it plays the cards and Yoto is the name of the company. It's not the point of the okay, story, right, Dan. Okay, so you're it's derailing not... the fucking podcast yet again. Sorry, Mark. Fuck. Can we get back to cheese? So the <laughs> cheese is cheese is in the review uh-huh. mirror, mate. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, this is one he, one he's got. And it's called Everything Under the Sun, mm-hmm. and um, it's I can't remember the woman's name who does it, but she does a podcast. Yoto, um, <laughs> Claire Yoto. Uh, she does this podcast where kids send in questions, mm-hmm. and she answers them on, on a podcast. But and then she did it as a book, and then this book's been turned into a Yoto card because they're basically audible books. And um, so we, I was laying with him in bed, you know, just helping him drift off. Um, and this is one question came up and it, and it said, what sound does giraffe, does a giraffe make? Oh, I am. And I was thinking, hmm, what sound does a giraffe make? All right. Turns out that they do make noise. Is it like a really long whistle? No, oh. it's a really low frequency hum. No. So it, this is what it says. Are you serious? Yeah. So this is what it says. Scientists recorded... And I kid you not, 937 hours of giraffe <laughs> to find out what noise they make. Why stop at night? Na- right, if you're going to do 937, why stop round do up a to thousand? A thousand. <laughs> no, yeah. Fucking hell. Why do we need 937? No, because- like, there's a lot to dive into with this statement. Let me, they, get, the whole thing- out- Let me get the whole statement out and then we'll, dive- right, they- we'll dissect. They must have run out of space on the Yoto discs. <laughs> <laughs> so scientists recorded 930. 930- 
<laughs> Sorry, man. No, right, start again. Start again. Scientists recorded 937 hours of giraffe to find out what noise they make. They hum, but only at night and at low frequencies, so we can't hear them. What I take away from that is what don't they want us to know? <laughs> yeah, that's awfully fucking suspicious. Why are they humming so we can't hear them and only at night? Oh. <laughs> what are the giraffes hiding? Why aren't they sleeping? No, what they've actually recorded is giraffes snoring. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not and record- they thought, fucking hell, they're talking. They've all got their eyes closed and laid down, but they're talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're doing it because they weren't expect us to be listening while they're asleep. I want to know who funded this research as well. I don't fucking know. Who was out there and who's gone, we need some money t- for this research. And got, someone goes, oh, I've, I've got a lot of money. What's the research? I might, I might fund it for you. We want to know what sounds giraffe makes. Well... Have you thought about maybe just going listening. and standing there some giraffes and having yeah. a listen? Now, what we want to do is record nearly a thousand hours of yeah. giraffe. Yeah. Um, and, and and then we'll listen to all of that. Because someone will have had to listen back to it, wouldn't they? Yeah. Surely. Oh, why weren't they listening while, while it happened? I know, oh, Because yeah. it is 937 hours. Come on. Yeah. How, and, how much, and how don't much giraffe, giraffe noise can you enjoy? Enjoy? <laughs> what are you going to say enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love giraffe No, because someone's life purpose is to be like, I wonder what the fuck they're talking about over there, eating them fucking tall trees. That's the thing, though. That's the thing. The giraffes don't want us to know. <laughs> That's so it's deep. so suspicious. Out, out of anything they could have done. I can't look at giraffes the same now. So. Uh, I want to know what they're keeping from us, Dan. So they've got these recordings that to the human ear are completely silent. <laughs> mm. Apart, what yeah, was the basically. fucking point? <laughs> Just leave them alone. I'd like, I'd, I'd love it if they actually made loads of noise, <laughs> but the speakers broke. <laughs> <laughs> so and they've gone, well, that's it. Giraffes are silent. Oh my God. Look, there's so many fucking animals that make noise. Leave the giraffes alone. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Why have they put all that effort into discerning what noise a giraffe makes, but nothing else? Yeah, what other animals are we missing? Noise does a tortoise make. When was this study done, though? Is uh, this recent? I don't. I didn't get that far into it. Oh, mate, I was going to say, if, it, if it's recent, it, what, it was to make a little bit of a joke on a podcast. Oh, I didn't fucking. Okay. Ah, I thought you'd. Have However, been more what prepared. I have put effort into okay. is this. Is this? Is this? Is oh, this. Here we go. You know, I like a quiz. Right now, do you remember a while back? Um, we 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 spoke about candle flavors. Oh, flavors. Flavors. Yeah, nose Fair flavors. Enough. Nose flavors. <laughs> <laughs> sense that's the yeah, word isn't it? Sense. and and how stupid names they have don't mm-hmm. they and i made some up yeah and i gave you a quiz with some real ones and some made up ones and you got to guess which is which mm-hmm. well sticking with the animal theme I've, I've only gone and done it again okay but this time it's the name of animal groups so, you know, you like, you get a murder of crows right okay stuff like that so i've got 15 real ones and 15 ones that may have been made up by me. Okay. So, and you've got to guess which is which is fake and which is real. Okay. Okay. A bike of bees. Fake. Bet that's fake. That's real. No fucking way. A bike of bees. Why? I don't know. Just look over there. It's a, be- it's a bicycle th- of bees. I think... The first person who saw a group of bees, they were flying in the shape of a bike. (laughs) (laughs) They were actually carrying a man on his way to work. (laughs) Oh, look at Jimmy over there. He's only going to train his bees. (laughs) Train his bees. (laughs) A rumba of rattlesnakes. Okay, they're they're quite a musical animal, aren't they? They are a musical animal. They're rattling around like maracas. They're just dangerous maracas. Maracas, I guess, would... I don't really know what a rumba is, but it sounds very... Mu- yeah, yeah, okay. That's That's got to be right. 100% correct. Yeah, that I, is like real. That. I like that. A necrophilia of otters. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> now, that one's not like the others. I need that that one's I not need like the we, we know that otters are pure evil. <laughs> and they do have sex with dead stuff. We, we, yeah. We've covered that in an earlier yeah, episode. Yeah, they do. They're absolutely rampant sex <laughs> pests of the sea. Awful things. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that one's not real, Mark. That's correct. I made that oh, up. Oh, that's not that good. Oh, good. A mess of iguanas. Oh, I mean, look. 
You're walking down the street with your box of iguanas, right? You drop them. They're fucking everywhere. It's a mess of iguanas. You've made a real mess of those and iguanas. As, and as we know, Godzilla is a giant radioactive iguana and he makes quite the mess. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's what, That one's real. There you go. That is real, yeah. An Ace Ventura of Doves. That's not real. <laughs> that one. That one's not real. You sound so sure. Yeah, it's not real. Do you get it, though? No. Do you not see the first Ace I've Ventura? Not, I've not seen Ace Ventura. The first Ace Ventura, because it's like... I'm not going to pretend. There's this, there's this fucking dead rare dove that's flying about in the city, and there's like a 10 grand reward for it, because it's like someone's pet that it's got out. Right, okay. So, yeah, that's... A joke's not good if you have to explain it. Um, Maybe someone out there enjoyed it. Yeah. If you did, email in at that broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got one. I've got one. A length of worms. This is my quiz. Oh, sorry. Why Why are you doing this? Just carry on. We'll Do you know pretend, I've put we'll into pretend this. that didn't happen. If you really want, I'll cut it out. I'm so hurt. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm going to carry on. Yeah, pretend that didn't but happen. But I'm not happy. I'm so sorry. A Steve Irwin of Stingrays. I mean, that's got to be right. As a tribute to Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. No. It's made up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me it was real No, then. no, it's not. Oh, fucking hell. A slab of tortoise. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's accurate, but it's not right. It's... it's not right. That is completely made up, yeah. Yeah. An army of caterpillars. <laughs> fucking hell. I... But before I answer, I, I've... I... I've got a little bit of a phobia of caterpillars. They're fucking <laughs> minging, man. You scared of them? Yeah. Some of us are. Some of them are poisonous. Oh, aren't they? I know. Oh God, do you remember like a few years ago? Like, <laughs> do you remember like a few years ago? <laughs> Jesus, Mike, I'm gonna have to cut this whole bit out. <laughs> you just don't want people knowing you're afraid of caterpillars. That's why you're cutting it out. No, <laughs> no. A few years ago, there was like that. Uh, there was like an article in the paper. And we was being oh, told the paper. We was being told not to go near these caterpillars because they had spikes. If they I got do in remember you, that. that they started like growing. I do remember like, that. Through, oh my god, that nightmare. Absolutely, really? yeah. It gives me nightmares, man. That's horrible. Oh, man, I, you, and in these nightmares, you'll never guess this. how many eyes I've got. <laughs> Is it one? Because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Sometimes I want to relate to you more. <laughs> a picture frame of wasps. <laughs> That's not real. You've made some of these up, Mark. Oh, I made that one up. A gang of elks. Oh, one sec. Army of caterpillars. Oh, we didn't... We, yeah, no, army no, of caterpillars. Is it real or not? Army Fuck, of caterpillars. It's not real. It's fucking real. Oh, my God. I know. I hope I never meet an army of caterpillars. <laughs> I know. All you got to do is fucking stamp on them, mate. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, Unless they're the poisonous ones. Just don't wait until they become butterflies, because then that's when they're really dangerous. Yeah. Because they, they can carry you off. And they're out, <laughs> they're out for vengeance. <laughs> just imagine, like, a load of butterflies with a vendetta get together. They can carry away, like, them balloons that took the house in up. <laughs> they might even form a bicycle <laughs> and wheel me off. <laughs> Terence is like, I tried to warn you. It's a moped of butterflies. <laughs> um, a gang of elk. Yes. Now, in my yeah. mind, I'm picturing elk, like massive elk with like bandanas. Yeah. And like chains and uh, fucking to guns. To be honest, I'm picturing a more like Grease Lightning style. Just <laughs> stood around in alleyways, just <laughs> clicking, <laughs> clicking and singing. So you think that's real? Yeah. It is real. A carrier bag of fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you win at the fairgrounds, isn't it? <laughs> you play hook a duck and you go away with a carrier bag of fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no, no, that's not that's real. made up, Mike. That's definitely made up. Yeah, that that is made up. Yeah. What what would the term be? It'd be school, wouldn't it? School, school of fish. shot. I think it depends on the fish. Oh. A pile of shrimp. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> no but for a minute then i was like it's <coughs> it's just so stupid that it might be real yeah well no you're wrong it's not okay a cornwall of geese a cornwall <laughs> a cornwall a cornwall of geese 
<laughs> no, no, it's got to be a flock. That's correct, it is a flock. <laughs> that was a throwback to an earlier episode. Oh, We've got yeah. an episode called Cornwall and Saddle Geese. You're feeling a bit... Um, what is it? What the word be? You're what? feeling a bit... When you like throwing back to stuff. What's Nostalgic. It? Nostalgic today, yeah, aren't you, bit, Yeah. Oh, that was horrid. I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, cut that. Yeah. <laughs> a huddle of walruses. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. A horse of hamsters. That's that's not right. That is. Oh, my God. Made up? You're not made oh, up, sorry. No, oh, okay, it's not made up. Right, no, my, it's real. It's real. No, I have questions about this, though. Where, when are people observing this? Like, so the first person that observed <laughs> a large amount of hamsters in one place went, that's a horse. Clearly. Yeah, look yeah, at all those hamsters. The, it's a horse, definitely. Yeah, but it's only the same as some ancient Greek looking up at the sky with two, three slightly <laughs> brighter stars and going, that's a fucking bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, okay, you stumble upon all these hamsters. I, it's got to be called a horse for some stumble reason. Stumble upon. Do you reckon that they've got, like, a Power Rangers Megazord kind of stuff? situation going on <laughs> where the first man to stumble upon that many hamsters they were uprising, uprising. and once he'd won the battle of hamster hill <laughs> he'd he'd named <coughs> the group of hamsters and you know there's that horse. hill down south isn't there where there's that big horse picture art made out of chalk Is that? that's where it took place <laughs> 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 and that's oh. how we got hamsters. It's just diced horse. Um, a brothel of camels. No. <laughs> no. That's, that's made up. That's made up, that. Made up. Now, pay attention, because this one might fool you. Go on. A concentration camp of slugs. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think just got a little bit of a gut feeling that that one's not real. Trust your gut. You're correct. It's not real. <laughs> a shrewdness of apes. <laughs> That's not real. Fuck it is. Oh my god. A shrewdness. A shrewdness. Oh my god. A cauldron of bats. Oh, if that's not real. That's real. That oh man, that sounds like a sounds like a cannibal corpse song. Yeah. <laughs> a coalition of cheetahs. N- Come on. It's fucking real. Oh my god. I know. A pretzel of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's after I've been around. I'm just fucking tie the cunts. <laughs> well, that's not real. Nah, it's made up, was lad. A business of ferrets. <laughs> I want that to be real so bad. It fucking is. Oh. <laughs> With the little suitcases. Uh, and in the ties. little suits. They're like they've not got suits on, they've just got collar and ties. <laughs> <laughs> not the suit. You can picture it, can't you? And like the lower paid ones have just got little flat caps. Yeah, and yeah. the face is covered in coal. Yeah, the chimney sweeps. <laughs> I was thinking exactly the same thing. <laughs> and they don't use a lot of chimney sweep. They Look, use their kids on a stick. Ferrets <laughs> are the ideal shape to be chimney sweeps. They fucking are, aren't They're they? They're really long, thin bodies. <laughs> Snake dogs. <laughs> Snake dogs. You're a dickhead. All oh, right. A gay club of flamingos. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real, is it, Mark? <laughs> How did you guess? <laughs> We're nearly there now. Okay. A conspiracy of lemurs. Yes. That's real. That has yeah, to be. Real. What are they up to? I don't know. Although I did go to a small zoo once near Horncastle and yeah. they had like a cage of lemurs. And like I put my hand out to it and one of them put their little hands through the fence and just sat and held my finger for a bit. And it was really sweet. Oh. But what were they conspiring about? I don't know. They, they, they stopped talking when I turned up. <laughs> a thatch of crabs. Go on. Yeah. That's made up. No. Yeah, I made Mark, that up. that was a really good one. Well, I thought... I'm proud thatch of Thatch of pubes. That's uh, where the crabs live. A thatch of pubes. Yeah, pubic thatch. Like a pube cottage. Um, a drift of pigs. No. That's real. No. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Drift. A wedge of swans. 
No. It's real. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting lots of these wrong. I know. A weeping saw of hogs. Weeping saw of hogs. <laughs> I like you started to say it as if you were thinking. <laughs> I wasn't. A weeping you saw. fucking were. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Like, weeping saw of... Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. A posse of turkeys. Go on. It's real. Yeah. Yeah, oh. it is. Last one. And this is the hardest. All right, okay, okay. Go on, hit me with it, Mark. <laughs> <clears throat> Harry Potter and the Bundle of Chameleons. <laughs> <laughs> Twicky how time Is it that time already? Already, I know you just like you wake up in the morning, you have your breakfast, you go to work, and then next thing, it's Wiki How time. <laughs> and here we are. Just like the day just wastes away to Wiki How time and it gets you to start thinking, doesn't it, about the the slow march of time and how mm. we're all just plodding on toward death. Yeah, and all, all the little things in life. Um like you know what? If you're if you're listening right now, get get yourself. No, we never do this. We never have time for this anymore. Get, <laughs> get yourself a nice, nice warm drink. Yeah, put your little sleeping hat on. You know, you know what I mean. Ones that look like Santa hats. I'd love for, them hats. for all other times of the year. For just going to sleep. But just night times. Your matching pajama set. Get a blanket and sit, a candle. Sit somewhere comfortable, really comfortable, and you know, just listen in. That's what it's all about. I might have a Horlicks when I go home. Yeah. What's Horlicks? What? I kind of know what it is. It's a multi, multi nighttime drink. I was deceived as a child because I thought it was going to be like a hot chocolate. No. And it not. was kind of like. I thought you said you didn't know what it was. Well. You lying piece of shit. My, like, I, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Like, what actually is it? It's just. Multi multi night time. Yeah, drink. that's what I mean. You don't know what it is. It's a multi multi night time drink. Okay, don't grab a Horlicks. Grab a hot chocolate like a real person. Whoa. And snuggle in for the night. Whoa. This is Wiki How. Tone it down a bit, Mark. Come on. So <laughs> tone it down. This is a listening experience. And quite frankly, you're harsh in my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you light up a doobie before before I got here? <laughs> no. You pass the duchy to the left hand side, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay, sir. <coughs> right. So, keeping with sort of this episode's theme of animals. Okay. And to be fair, the last few wiki hows have been quite animal orientated, haven't they? Yeah. And we're carrying it on. Mm-hmm. How to play. With your pet rat. Pet rat? Yeah. <laughs> your I pet you, rat. I thought you were going to say... It's how, a kind of parrot. How to, how to communicate in giraffe bass. <laughs> no, because it's just humming really low. It? Whoa. As bad as low as I can go. Is that a all creaky of a sudden, door? All of a sudden, all the giraffes have all pricked their ears up. <laughs> they were waiting for this moment. Yeah. They got their earphones That was their ready. call to action. Yeah. <laughs> So how to play with your pet rat. And ladies, I'm not talking about your minge. Rats are... <laughs> Jesus, Mark. <laughs> Someone's going to be sat there. They're Playing like, with the minge. They'll have spat all their horlicks out. <laughs> be covered in it. Oh, imagine if they're eating like a nice spaghetti carbonara and now it's all over the place. <laughs> I imagine that when they spat you know, out... in Italy, the... they put peas in carbonara. Disgusting. I imagine that when they spat out the spaghetti... The spaghetti. Do you know how when you suck up a single piece of spaghetti, <laughs> it did that, but in reverse. Really long... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Rats are really intelligent creatures and enjoy lots of playtime. Mm -hmm. It is important that you play with your rats, otherwise they get bored... And may bite you gently. Gently? <laughs> Gen That's not much of a threat. You're not really making me want to play with the rats. <laughs> this article will help you with ideas to play and keep your rats busy. I'm, I, you know what? I'm checking out. I, 
It takes a stronger threat than that. I'll take, a, I'll take the gentle bite. I refuse <laughs> to care for my pets unless I am threatened harder than that, Mark. <laughs> Sorry, did I say gentle bite? I misread. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll get bored and put a live grenade in your anus. <laughs> Now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, you want to know how to play with the rat now, don't you? There we go. Teach me. So method one of three, spending quality time with your rat. Okay. Hide treats for your rat to find. Yeah, but they're in a cage, are they? No, this is when you just got it out and about. Like a free roam rat. Yeah, just have a free range rat. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Stash small pieces of food in your pockets or the folds of your clothing and let your rat search for them. They'll have a ball clamoring all over you mm. to try and sniff out the tasty morsels. <laughs> the mortals? <laughs> mortals. The tasty mortals. <laughs> I am the rat king. <laughs> You invited me in. There's a lovely mortal in your pocket. <laughs> I'd be worried about having a free roam rat because <laughs> free roam. What if it got got in with a bad crowd? Oh, no, you know, cause... you know, like the ones out. <laughs> you know, the street rats, the sewer rats coming up and from the, the toilet. Yeah, you you come home and they're <coughs> they're sat there in your living room eating all that forbidden cheese, and all and... of a sudden, all of a sudden, you you come home and you find that your pet rat's into drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and he's joined a gang. <laughs> yeah, you get a knock on the door and you open it up and the rat police are bringing your rat home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what your rat's been doing? He's been robbing your convenience store, <laughs> And this is how the police rats speak. <laughs> They're like old bobbies with no teeth. <laughs> Fruits and veggies, <laughs> such as peas, carrots, potatoes, squash... Strawberries, grapes, and apples, along with items like whole nuts and seeds, make great treat treats for domesticated rats. Right. <laughs> so wild rats can't have any of those. No, of course not. You can also use strips of coloured paper or small shiny objects to tantalise your pet rat if you've already fed it for the day. <laughs> so, so the rat's like, oh, um, you know what, mate? I'm all full up on rat feed. <laughs> What I need is some food for the mind. <laughs> Please tantalise me, sir. Yeah. I've, um, I, I, know, I know we normally do this with like segments of Clementine, but I've eaten your baby's toes already. So <laughs> uh, so have you got any shiny bits of paper? Hey, I tell you what, just slap a few emeralds in your pocket and we'll call it a day, shall we? It's not at the edge of, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Play peekaboo with your rat. Oh, no. Set your rat directly across from you on the floor or a tabletop, then quickly duck out of sight. It will scamper around excitedly when you suddenly reappear. Change up your hiding place every so often to keep it guessing. <laughs> your rat may come looking for you if it becomes curious enough, turning it into a game of hide and seek. My, my sister used to have two pet rats. <laughs> And what? <laughs> well, this is a story. With rats. Oh, I just, I'd love it if, like, <laughs> if you did the peek you like, you hid, and then when you you come back and you expect your fucking rat to be dead excited, and it just goes, "Oh, she's back." No, you're there. <laughs> you're there doing peekaboo, right? You go oh, peekaboo, so cute, and the rat's like, "Oh, very funny." Wee, and then you yeah. do it again. And when you move your hands away, you look back, and there's a note, Deborah. <laughs> we've we've been through this. <laughs> we've grown up. I I am a rat, not an idiot. <laughs> you may not have noticed, but recently I've been packing my belongings. <laughs> I'm taking my sixteen knickknacks. <laughs> you know the crisps. This is all in the note, by the way. You know, yeah, them, yeah, them yeah. crisps, like God knows how they're made. And my three <sighs> rubies, and I'm leaving. <laughs> and the door's swinging. <laughs> and there's just a gust of wind that blows yeah. the net curtains. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and the little the little rat's hole in the skirting board, you know, the little door, <laughs> it's been bricked back up with tiny rat-sized bricks. It's packed up and gone. So... We wouldn't recommend peekaboo at the dark podcast. Yeah, don't, don't peekaboo. All it with does your is rat. piss your rat I've off. I've been scarred before. Side note: 
My sister had uh, a couple of pet rats before. Mm. And it's not a pet. I was, uh, well, you know. It's not a pet. If it can't fetch, it's not a pet. It was really good company, actually, through some dark times, Mark. I know you were trying to catch me off guard and like make me feel bad, but I can't do it. So I, I was I was really young. I was like probably thirteen. One of my friends had stayed around, and um, you know, we in the middle of the night, we just hear a noise, and I'm the rat king. <laughs> he come in to recruit the rats. No, so we turn around, and the rats were on their back legs, like pushing and shoving each other like humans. <laughs> They were like, they were tussling, Mark. Tussling? It was really something. Unrelated note, one day, my sister was cleaning out the rat's cage, dropped one of them down the back of the drawers. <laughs> Just. Fucks. But Mark, you haven't lived if you've not had to fish out a rat from behind a chest of drawers. I did have a pet hamster once that got out of its cage and we found it asleep under the oven. Under the oven. Mm. Did did you hear did you hear its almost cartoonish snoring? Well, it was just and that's it. how you knew it was Having there. the time of its fucking life. I loved it. It's nice and warm. What's it doing? I mean, do you know what my do you know what my hamster was called? Go on. George. George. George George Ace Ventura. <laughs> what was it with you and Ace Ventura? Do you Man, like that? I film? loved them films when I was growing oh up. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I hate that. Number three. <laughs> All right. Number three. Show your rat some affection. Mm -hmm. Set aside a few minutes each day to make your pet feel loved. Stroke its fur slowly or turn it over and rub its belly with the pads of your fingers. Some rats also love a good scratch behind the ears, under the chin or just above the tail. All of them relish physical contact and attention. Hold your rat close to you while you pet it. Being able to feel the warmth of your body will help it relax and strengthen your bond. If your rat is happy, it may even return your affection by licking you like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That's not the rat experience that I know. The rat experience. They they just love Licking fighting. you with its little rat tongue. They, well, it's funny you should say that, because number four, wrestle with your rat. Oh, look, I would, but I know who's going to win every time. Oh, I've, I've, stu I've stood on loads of rats what, doing where? this. Just a buy a pet rat. <laughs> and I think, oh, we'll have a bit of a wrestle and I stamp on it and I win. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, another one. Do you know how many pet stores I've been banned from? <laughs> no, you only got banned because you were taking them back. <laughs> this one wrong, squash. Something wrong with this. <laughs> it's flatter than advertised. So wrestle with your rat. And I don't mean masturbate. <laughs> Gently push, grab, and roll your rat over, or pretend that your hand is another rat and chase <laughs> it around. <laughs> you see that uh, I was—I once was like I once wasn't offered a job after a job interview because the interviewer said, "I'm sorry, your hand is too convincingly a rat." <laughs> I was more thinking more along the lines of you get a dead rat, hollow it out. And wear it like a glove or like a sock puppet. <laughs> um, okay, so your middle finger's the head, but then your other fingers are the legs. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, Famously a rat noise, by the way. Yeah. Uh, right. This is a great way to help your pet work off excess energy. Don't forget to let them win every now and then. Uh. <laughs> Be careful not to get too rough. Rats are delicate creatures and you could accidentally hurt them if you use too much force. If your rat begins moving frantically or appears overstimulated, put it in, put it back in its cage until it calms down. <laughs> <laughs> this is this. Number five. Toss your rat onto a cushioned surface. Right. Which loosely translates to throw the rat. <laughs> throw the rat. Yeet the rat. <laughs> Pick your rat up, drop it onto a pillow or a mound of blankets Why? from a short distance. Chances are it'll come scurrying back for more. Right, hold it on. It may sound strange, but rats enjoy getting thrown around a little, similar to puppies or kittens. Is, These kinky fucking rats. Is this an article for what you should do with rats or what you can do with rats? <laughs> Because Funny you should mention this one because this next bit says wear it like a condom. <laughs> <laughs> a warm condom. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Method two of three, keeping your rat occupied in its cage. Fill your rat's cage with toys. Cats aren't. <laughs> okay. Toys. Toys for rodents come in all kinds of different forms, from running wheels and tunnel blo- what? and <laughs> tunnel blocks to ropes and rubber chew toys for nibbling. <laughs> A couple of these toys can provide your pet with hours of entertainment. Well, that's good, because it lives there. <laughs> Uh, best of all, they'll fit right inside your rat's cage without taking up too much space. Yeah, but the space, well, the space in kind in inside of the rat's cage is not consequential to your space. That doesn't matter. What do you mean? That point is surplus to the matter. What do oh, you mean? It could go inside your rat's cage without taking up too much space. It's like, well, yeah, but the space inside the rat's cage is not my problem. <laughs> It's saying it like it's a bonus some that people, these toys don't take up much space. Some people care about how much space their rat has no, in its cage. the way that's written, it sounds like, oh, it's a bonus because they don't take up too much space for you. To be no, fair, look, though, if, if you're bothered about how much space your rat has got, you wouldn't keep it in a cage, would you? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. I thought there were free roam rats. Now, this is when you're taking it out of the of the cage to play with it. This is what they have oh. based that. Just don't, these people don't just don't let a rat run around the house. Yeah, I was just going to say, like anything inside the rat's cage is not in your space. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but the cage is. I don't know why that. Yeah, is, no, but you've is committed to the different. cage. Yeah, well, I you've suppose. committed to yeah. that. You can put anything in the cage, Mark. That's my point. <laughs> Lead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. This will be a great place to store all of my lead. Ice. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Set up a maze or obstacle course. Use small cardboard tubes and boxes to build structures for your rat to explore. Just stop tidying. (laughs) (laughs) Let, Let it have at it. You'll be amazed how long it will amuse itself by crawling, climbing, and finding new ways to overcome obstacles. What pisses me off about this is that people go in, oh, yeah, I've, I've put loads of this stuff in my rat's cage, and it's always in, you know, messing about in it and loving it. Yeah, but the thing is, what do you expect the rat to do otherwise? It's in, like, what, mm. a cage that's two foot by two foot? <laughs> Of course, it's going to be fucking milling about in yep. all. It, you, you've shoved it full of cardboard. All that's happened. It is needs to go through it to get to one end of the cage to the other. You've built a great cardboard barrier between the bed and its food. <laughs> yeah. It is finding all you've a way done through. It's made that. its life worse. Fuck it. Uh, you know what, mate? We need to write our own WikiHow article. Rights for rats. Rights <laughs> for how to protect your rats' rights. Yeah. Oh. Place some shredded paper in your rat's cage. Right. Tear up a paper towel or shopping bag and drop the pieces into your rat's cage. It will quickly get to work finding hiding places for them. Well, at this point, just put the rat in the fucking bin. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. I love- ne- next, it'll be like, put your leftover food in the rat's home. <laughs> Fuck, I love that as well. Like... It'll quickly find hiding places for all this paper. Yeah, because it doesn't want the paper about. He's yeah, trying to get out it. of sight. Yes. Well, what the fuck's all this paper in me cage? <laughs> I'll best bury this. Oh, God. They'll think I stole it. What, what will the neighbours think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My rat probation officer's coming round <laughs> from that time I fell in with the wrong crowd. What's he going to think? My owner hates me. Where's all this paper come from? (laughs) Why is your cage full of paper? Where's all this come from? (laughs) He's not Cockney anymore. He's not, no. (laughs) This is the probation officer rat. Is he from Blackpool? (laughs) Blackpool. All rats are from Blackpool. (laughs) Ratpool. Make a digging box for your rat. Fill a small container with sterile potting soil. (laughs) <laughs> and place it in one corner of your rat's cage. Digging is so much fun for rats that they'll often forget about everything else around them. <laughs> How do you know if your rats <laughs> forgot about stuff? <laughs> oh, he's not touched that pile of paper I put in there. <laughs> he's been digging in that fucking box all day and he's got an essay to write. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never earn his PhD like this. <laughs> so, method three of three. Playing with your rat outside its cage Mm. okay teach your rat to come when called (laughs) set your embarrassing (laughs) 
Oh, you. Come. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So teach your rat to come when called. Set down your rat a few paces away and coax it towards you with a handful of treats <laughs> while saying its name repeatedly. <laughs> Same thing I do with my kids. <laughs> Once it reaches you, reward it with a treat and belly scratch. Aww. After a few attempts, it should begin to respond consistently, even without the promise of a treat. Create a play environment in a closed-off area. Take your rat to an open room where it can run around to its heart content. Keep the door to the room closed at all times while your pet is playing, and be sure to block off access to electrical outlets and air vents to protect it from harm. So that yeah, oh, I mean, me. put it in a room, uh, close the doors, leave it be. Take it out of its small cage, pop it in a big one. I mean, this is how I live, rat. Who wrote this? A rat. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> it's got to be Michael P. Ratburger. No, it's um, <laughs> it's Master, Master Splinter, now that the turtles have gone <laughs> off on their own. Yeah, he's flew. got loads of stuff to lose yeah, time on his hands, hasn't they he? They flew the nest. They broke out of their shelly chrysalis, <laughs> turned into moths. Shelly chrysalis. And flew Turtle. away. Oh. That's how birds are born, isn't it? No. <laughs> Turtles. Let your rat roam freely when you're too busy to play. Wait. Turtles or eggs with legs. <laughs> this This week's sponsor. <laughs> Sponsored by eggs, eggs with legs. legs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, carry on. Carry on. Do your wiki. Oh. I had to get that out. Let- <laughs> I'm glad you did. Let your rat roam freely when you're too busy to play. If your rat is well behaved, you may be able to simply turn it loose and trust it to stay nearby while you're working, studying, or watching TV. You know, they're making rats sound like loads of fun, aren't they? Like, <laughs> I wonder what the trading value is for my, like, part-used cat. <laughs> I wonder if I could get a couple of rats. I went couple to a pet shop and went, look, got a cat, a few miles. Um, How many rats you give me? <laughs> how many rats will you give me? Because I've heard the fun as fuck. Yeah. And look, and if you don't mind, you've got a bin over there with rubbish in. I'll take some of that for the rats. Yeah, because have you got any paper? I've heard they love paper. Yeah, they love they love paper and obstacles. <laughs> paper and obstacles. <laughs> right, last one. Okay. Take your rat outside for some fresh air. Oh. <laughs> Place your furry friend in a carrier or simply hold it in both hands. <laughs> While you go for a stroll. Remember, rats are wild animals, so it's important for them to spend time in their natural habitat. The fucking sewer. Yeah. <laughs> or London, just, either way. Just whisk, whisk, like, just kind of put them near the drain. Don't let them go in, obviously. Just, <laughs> this is where you could live. I, I don't take them out, just in case a rich family tries to adopt it, like that Stuart Little documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Here it's more common. Just be careful... Not to let your pet get loose, or you may never see it again. Is that the end of the article? Yeah. Oh, my God. The thing is, right, the whole article is building bond with the rat. This is all the stuff you can do to make your rat love you. But the second you take it outside and let it loose, it's going to fuck right off. Yes. (laughs) Fuck me. No amount of rabies will bring that back. While it's running away. You didn't give me enough paper. Oh, that's another one. Another one back that, to the That dust. one's one for the books. I like that one. I, I enjoyed that one. A bit shorter. Yeah. If you take any issue with anything we've said, tell it to the rat police. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't give a fuck. <laughs> the, rat, the rat king's coming to eat your children. <laughs> and always remember, <laughs> no one asked for it. No one needed it. But this was it. It, it was, was the, the Dark, dark Podcast. Fuck off! <laughs>